And here we are at the New South Wales Directory for Health Service Providers on the test site. Now this is test data, it is public domain data and it is not confidential data. So you'll see no accurate confidential information at all. Up in the top right hand corner we have logged in and so we have certain access rights as a consequence. Any normal person will be able to access information on organisations and up comes the organisations directory. This directory is a table that can be sorted on any column. For example, one can sort by city just by clicking on it or doing the reverse sort. Um, and that sort can be performed on any column of information. <coughs> This sort on the column can also be performed even when uh, we're in a filter and I'll explain what I mean by a filter. For example, one might want to find organisations within, um, say, Casino. So let's put Casino in as the, the filter and submit that. And already the table has been filtered on the basis of a city being Casino. There's another way that that can be used. Uh, for example, say there's a, a pandemic or a, an alert, or there's an urgent need to contact people in a certain region. You can start with their postal code and say it contains, say, the first four digits. And that will give us uh, all the postal codes around a certain area. So that's Ballina, Bangalore, Casino. And that's a very good way to build an effective and efficient um, mailing list or alert list. It can be used then to mail merge or be used in email. Just one last thing about that. Of course the production of an extract is only available to supervisors but this clicking this button, the comma separated values button, the CSV value button, produces an extract that pops up then <coughs> with the information that we had looked there. Uh, that information in, that CSV file, can then be downloaded into a spreadsheet and, and viewed or it can be used in one of the various office suites for mail merge and, and email. <coughs> Let's look at one of the individual listings. For instance, uh, Cedars Nursing Home uh, has exactly the sort of uh, listing that I'd like to see. Uh, here's our extract that's come in so we can see we can just import the extract in a pretty standard way. This is uh, again information all in the public domain but in it's come our extracted information and it can be viewed in a spreadsheet. Let's put that away while we go back and look at uh, our extract f or the details on the individual uh, Cedars Nursing Home uh, one, we get the detail of that particular entry, that entity, and we also get a mapped image which is calculated automatically from the address. For something like a nursing home, this can be quite useful for visiting consultants and for uh, potential clients because you can zoom in and get some idea of the, the facility. Is there parking, for example? And you can see there's plenty of parking around it. It's actually got quite a nice area there and you can see that it's a reasonably sized facility so it should have uh, a reasonable capability to deliver services for, for the clients that are there. It's got nice grounds. You can tell quite a lot about the organisation just from the aerial view. I use it a lot when I'm visiting rural and regional areas because I like some idea of what the terrain will be, uh, particularly if I'm driving. So I've got some expectation as to whether I should keep the camera handy or whatever. And with the uh, casino, of course, the camera's ideal. Now, another thing with this, although we don't have a lot of entries because this is test data, we automatically link back to the health professionals that are working at that installation, at the nursing home. So with the appropriate access rights, we can then click on the names of the health professionals there and get their information as well, their contact information, if we're allowed to see it. 
So linking between uh, organizations and individuals is relatively straightforward. And of course, within contacts, within people, we have the same capabilities in general terms to find them by specialty, by city, by state, by postcode. Now, advanced users have additional access rights. Uh, medical practitioners, for instance, would have access to phone numbers and email. Uh, but uh, the normal user does not have access to that sort of information. Nevertheless, it's a very simple uh, directory to use in terms of finding information, uh, finding specialties, finding uh, the people that you're trying to track down or sorting it in various ways. So it's, it's essentially um, quite a natural way to, to navigate around. Now that's the user view and we'll now also look at the ease of use in terms of uh, maintaining the directory. Uh, one thing I would say about that is if you need to perhaps update information online when individuals or, or organizations come up if you have the access rights there's a very simple uh, edit tab and there you can update their information online. <coughs> uh, it doesn't just have to come from within the division's contact list or CRM. We won't update that information however uh, but normal edits are, are applied and so on. The alternative is to import and export from within the division's uh, own CRM or contact management system and it's the maintenance of the directory that we'll look at next. <laughs>